Yo, what's up, guys? We are back with another video today. We're gonna talk about Sbonga Jr. and the fact that he made a hundred thousand, but he's running away with people's one thousand rand. How is that even possible? So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. A couple of days I posted this on my Instagram and I said, This guy has had a withdrawal on the 19th, but the date so the 20th, right? He probably then decided, Okay, because this is what normally you know these guys do. He then posts a screenshot where the money reflects of a hundred thousand, a hundred and eighty-eight and ninety-eight cents. Right? I was like, that's nice, that's cool, you know, that's good. I'm happy for you. I had someone that DM me actually to say to me, yo, that withdrawal had hit. Um, what do you have to say now? And I said that if these guys are really making so much money, why would you continue to sell something? And you know what? People who actually is making the money, they will never post their finances like this on the internet also he then further went on to post this to the instagram as well which i do not understand why would try to basically prove a point with these um with these screenshots that look like you know they come from a a, a nokia 3310 now look i'm not here to question anything because it's very easy for me to validate this just like another case that i'm busy with at the moment but I'm going to leave this for a separate video that I will cover on Monday. My question to this gentleman is, why is it that you have made a hundred thousand withdrawal, but you are running away with a person's one thousand rand? Now, my question to not just him, but this goes to everyone else who always think that the best thing that you can do is come in the comment section and stand up for these people. I don't even know why you are here in the first place if you came here to defend these guys because I don't know how you're going to make it make sense to me that you have made a hundred thousand but then you can tell someone that I blew the account so I was planning to fund again using my funds I'll send you proof of funding when I'm done funding again and up until today we are still waiting for this money so now I'm going to ask you guys a very simple question again it ties back to the fact that if you're making 100k why would you take account management why would you take someone's 1000 rand and just feel like you have to run away with it now i've always said this it's always the people who has lived through the experience that understand what it is to lose money that knows how you can actually relate to what's going on here as opposed to someone who's just sitting there who probably doesn't have any money to lose so they would just come there and say oh uh, you know, but, yeah, uh, but, uh, 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 uh. now this is less got to do with the fact that someone believed in account management i have nothing to do with that what i do have to do with is him as a person as to why you would take per someone's 1000 rand if you are making a hundred thousand rand in profit not too long ago so this gentleman reached out to him to say that he wants to do account management sabonga then wasted no time to give him the entire list of things that he has got for sale Three month signals, one thousand to two thousand and for lifetime signals. Now remember this is a a hundred and a hundred K withdrawal type of trader. Here we go. Account management, a minimum a thousand and target six thousand, maximum five thousand, target thirty thousand. <sighs> really? Really? Um so I'm going to show you guys what you do with people like this, right? I'm dropping a video on Monday. I'm busy solving a case as we speak with the bank. And I'll show you what you do with people like this, who you've paid money to, who just feels like, hmm, you know what? I don't think I want to do the job for you. Oh, I'm going to just lose your money. So I'm going to show you how you get, how you, how you, how you basically sort people out like this, right? How you can deal with them. Any case, then he sends the banking information. He, the gentleman says, I want 1000 and account management. Now, at this point, I would also say to this guy, you, but like I said to another lady, right? I said to her, you're better off spending your money in spur as opposed to paying someone who makes you believe that they can trade. Why? Because if this guy can take 1000 and to 6000, why don't he just take his own 1000, take it to 6000? Then that means he can have six 1000s and then make six 6000s. Then you will have 12 1000s. Now he can take 12 1000s 
to and have 12 six thousands and then he can just keep on multiplying that why does he need to take your money in order to prove a point when it comes to multiplying these accounts any case the conversation goes forward the guy then makes the payment as always and he said i send you one thousand and now this is where he needs to beg I sent you 1000 in last week for account management, but I didn't get any response. I'm still waiting, right? Gets the account, he gets the money, tries to get all of this guy, nothing. Then he says, can you please refund my money, bro? Can you please refund my money? I'm thinking of opening a case because you are not trustworthy. I'll tell you the mistake that you guys are making, right? You shouldn't tell these people that you're going to make a case. This case that I'm busy with at the moment it's so bad that this guy didn't want to get hold of me. He, did, he didn't want to get back to me until he sent me a message out of the blue and later on decided to call me because he was sitting with he was sitting in his bank and they didn't want to assist him because of me. And we're going to get to that video. Like I said, I'm going to educate you guys. Now you need to deal with people like this. Don't waste your time talking to them because they really don't care. You have to go and hit them where it hurts the most any case he then sends all of this the model of the story it has been a month now no payment Aita, i want to ask that today will i get my payment um bro at least can you refund my money then you tell the bra top up five thousand rand um i know bro account is on a huge loss um and then you know he said but blew it last week i was planning to fund again and then that was about it so this is my question which is very simple and uh, you know I'm, I'm just doing this because um i know there's a lot of people who believe in these guys my question is why would you believe in someone when they have done absolutely nothing for you first of all and um they haven't changed your life in any way why, why would you take someone's 1000 rand now i will like i said before i'm going to educate you guys and now you deal with people like this you don't tell them I'm going to open a case against you. You just go and you do it and send him a case number. That's it. You 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 don't say because that's the thing that a lot of you guys do, right? You talk too much. You don't talk too much, my friend. You just deal with these guys one at a time. Guys, that is it from my side. Thank you for your time. Be safe. Enjoy the weekend. And as always, cheers for years.